Hello viewers, this is Nobel Shah. Once again, welcome you all to my online tutorials. Today, I am going to discuss about Active Directory sites. How to configure Active Directory sites, I will show you. And how to configure subnets and how to create site links. Also, how to create site link bridges, I will discuss with you one after another. So, before I begin, let me tell you one thing about sites. What is actually Active Directory sites? Sites actually enable you to map physical locations such as branch offices into Active Directory. Okay? Maybe you have a company and you have a branches in different locations. So, you can configure sites so that you can map your different locations with a specific site and users from a specific site will be authenticated only with that particular site they need they do not have to go to another say, site to be authenticated they can authenticate from their own site okay so to con configure active directory sites we need to go to the tools and then choose the option which is active directory sites and services <laughs> once the active directory sites and services window comes you can expand the sites option and you will get some options here subnet inter site transports and then default first site name this is the first site name that is created by default when you create a dom domain controller okay so if we expand the default first site name option we will get another option which is called servers and if we expand the servers option we will get all those machines that are actually connected with the default first site okay now we will see how to create a new sites and then how to associate a subnet with that site also how to create links and then finally how to move a domain controller from one site to another site okay so to create a site you just need to right click the sites option and then click new site option once the new site new object site window come just specify the name of the site okay for example let me specify a name like m e l hyphen site mail site okay assume you have a uh, location which is melbourne you have a branch office over there and all the users from Melbourne will be authenticated with this particular site. Okay? So, we have a specified a name which is mail site and then you need to click the default first site link. Look here is a message called select a site link object for, the, for this site. Site link objects are located in the sites inter site transport container. Okay? So, because we do not have any default uh, any previous link created so we need to specify the default site link and then click the ok option the first time when you create a site you will get this message that site mail site has been created to finish configuration of mail site ensure that mail site is linked to other sites with site links as appropriate add subnets for mail site to the subnets container Install one or more domain controllers in mail site or move existing DCs into the site. Okay? You will not see this message again until the next time you start Active Directory sites and services. Okay, fine. So, our first site which is mail site is created. Okay? Uh, Right. So, let me create some other sites. 
sites right click and then new site and then say syd hyphen site and use the default option and then click ok ok click another site like new site adl hyphen site use the default site link option and click ok right click another site name new site dhk hyphen site click the default site link and then click ok so we have created four different sites ok now we need to specify the subnets for the sites ok so click the subnets option and right click on it and click new subnet once the new subject window comes it specify the subnet id along with the cider value ok so for example 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 this is a class a subnet and then cider 8 ok and then uh, let me associate it associate with it dsk site ok so i have specified a subnet id and this subnet will be associated with dsk site and then click ok so this is how you can specify all the subnets with your sites ok click another new subnet and then prefix like 192.168.0.0 and then cider may be 24 and then use another site for example sydney site ok click another subnet like new subnet 172.16.1.0 cider 16 and then click mail site ok it will be 0.0, .0 not 1 actually 0.0, .0. then mail site and then click ok right click another subnet new subnet uh, ok 3 is enough let me go with this so I have created 3 subnets and associated with the sites ok now click the inter site transports option click the IP option right click the IP option and then click the new site link ok now specify that which site will be linked with which another site ok for example I want to link Sydney site with DSK site clear and then you can specify a name here for the site link for example seed hyphen dhk link right it is a link between sydney site and dhk site and then click ok so link, look our first site link created and this is how you can create the site link so let me uh, create another site link which is default first site name so let me specify a name like default hyphen with another site which is uh, mail site and default first site name ok and then click ok so we have created two different site name and we name it default and mail right clear so this is how you can create site links that is it and now if you want to create site link bridges you can do so by this option right click the IP option and click the new site link bridge option and here you need to specify the links that you have created earlier ok so the link we have created here one is Sydney DHK link and then another one is default milk link and then specify the name of the site link breeze ok so my sites link 
viz and then click okay so this is how you can create a site link viz clear so that is all about sites subnets and then ip and then how to create link okay now we will see how to move a domain controller from one site to another site okay i have a two uh, server machine uh, which is actually associated with our default first site name in this moment so i am taking one of this uh, let me take the three domain controller my three domain controller which is dhaka.net 224 ip is 224 which is uh, ok 224 so this is the machine c224 this is the machine which is associated with the default fast site name in this moment we are gonna move it to another site right click on it just click the move button and then they specify the site name uh, let me specify the dsk site and then click ok look now if we expand the dsk site and expand the servers option we will see the machine here ok I have uh, already discussed how to enable or disable global catalog server from a server can you recall ok if you want to specify a machine that is not a global catalog server you can do so from this option which is NTDS settings ok and if you want to remove the global catalog server option from a server you can also do it from the same option which is NTDS settings right click on it go to the properties options and just uncheck if you do not want to configure this machine as a global catalog server ok that is all and uh, let me tell you one more thing the first root domain for the first root domain uh, that actually configured with a global catalog you cannot remove the global catalog option from that domain controller the first domain controller of a forest must have a global catalog server configured on it ok so thank you very much in my next video i will discuss with some other options you guys take care have a good day bye bye